I'm Ivan Zud and welcome into another video in our continuing series here at Jatai Academy. Today's video is about branding and our new banner. Well, no, actually it's not. It's not about branding. Today's video is about cross promotion, but we got some branding going on. We've got our brand new Jatai Academy banner and rumor has it that in a couple of videos, I'm going to have a Jatai Academy shirt. That's branding, that's marketing, and marketing is about building and growing your business, and we want to talk about cross-promotion. Cross-promotion is a powerful way for you to build and grow your business while at the same time partnering with another local business or more. So what is cross-promotion? Well, if your barber shop or hair salon is in a strip mall, and at the end of the strip mall is a Subway sandwich shop, if you go down to the Subway sandwich shop and you talk to the manager and you say, hey manager, I'm going to give you a stack of coupons for my hair salon. Will you pass them out for me? That is not cross promotion. That is the guy at Subway doing you a favor. It's probably also promotion, but it's not cross promotion. Cross promotion as an example would be, and this is an actual promotion that we ran when I had my shop, I went down to the subway at the end of the strip mall where my barber shop and hair salon was located and I said to the manager, hey manager, I got an idea. I will give you coupons for a shampoo with your haircut, free shampoo with your haircut, because our haircut and shampoo were a la carte. Free shampoo with your haircut that you can pass out to your customers and I will give my customers a coupon that gives you a free six inch sub sandwich when you buy chips and a drink. That's a cross promotion. That's how that's supposed to work. And there's many different ways to run an effective cross promotion. Let's talk about a few tips for ideas for building great cross promotions. Number one, who's close? In the story I just told you, I worked with a Subway sub shop at the end of my strip mall. His customers and my customers share the same parking lot. It made it really, really easy for us to recognize that people in the area very well might. People buy lunch, people buy haircuts, bingo, we got an opportunity. So proximity, closest to your business, makes good sense. The next question to ask is, where else do my customers do business? What is a natural tie-in and connection, even if it's not as close to my business? I always use as an example, if you own a gym shoe store, you might want to partner with a fitness center. Because clearly the people that are doing business with one are doing business with another. And there could be some opportunity for each of you to feed off each other's customers. Another thought for running a cross promotion would be, what else do my customers like? Or what else fits my customers in terms of where they go and what they do? Um, you know, as an example, if you're a guy themed barbershop type place, maybe there's a sports bar located in the area. Guys get haircuts, guys like sports. That doesn't mean girls don't like sports. That doesn't mean girls don't get haircuts, but you see there's a pretty good fit there because one very likely patronizes the other. There's also opportunities to look at businesses that might be totally different, but fit your customer demographic profile, the income bracket of your customer or the lifestyle of your customer. A great example of this might be you do and again, in the scenario of a men's barbershop slash grooming place, you do guy grooming. What about a partnership with a dog groomer? Grooming and grooming. Not every guy that gets a haircut in your place has a dog. Many of them do. Not everybody at the dog groomer is a guy. But because there's a commonality there, maybe there's an opportunity for something unique and creative. Now, you guys know from videos I posted in the past, I'm not a big believer in discounting. I like full price or free. And there's many ways to structure incentives and structure cross promotions where your businesses can work together in this way. But the important thing to recognize with a cross promotion is it's win-win. It's I am helping somebody who's helping me and we are helping each other in a complimentary, non-competing way. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web and IvanZoot.com for more information on me. This week's topic was cross-promotion and I look forward to questions and comments and helping you build and grow your business. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.